How can we use AI models like Dolly to help us design websites? If you don't know what Dolly is, Dolly is an image generation model from a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. Can Dolly help us to design websites? This is what I found out. I started with the simple prompt of an armchair in the shape of an avocado, and I was surprised to see Dolly can not only do that prompt, but also design a whole website around it. I think it's a good showcase of Dolly's capabilities. Next, I was curious how a Shopify website for something like Brutalist Pencil Sharpeners would do. If you're curious about where this is coming from, I made a previous video designing this, and it's crazy again to see Dolly design that product as well as make the website theme around it. Basic mobile app design was another thing I was curious about. If you remember mobile local social, this was a funny theme back a few years ago. It was even referenced in the show Silicon Valley. Anyways, these are some really interesting designs, especially if you love bubble tea. How about the design for an app that actually charges your phone? What would that look like? This is a new kind of prompt I've been experimenting with. What if a dolphin designed a website? Now, clearly this does not look very dolphin-like. It just has a lot of dolphins in it. I still think this area of prompts is still worth exploring. I gotta do more stuff with it. I thought it'd be interesting to break down web design instead of having Dolly generate the whole website. How about just a component like the header? Now, in this case, uh, it still is designing the website. However, I do think it's putting the focus on the header and all of these headers look pretty good. With this prompt, we're going back to sort of my usual style, sort of imagining things that you've never seen before that breaks some social convention. In this case, it's about a law firm that defends carrots. This time I wanted to look at not just a single component, but perhaps a group of components, something like a login page, in this case for an architecture firm. I would say for the most part, Dolly has nailed the layout. However, I would have liked something more compelling, more mind blowing, but I guess there's limitations maybe to how good a login page can be. Still overall, not bad. If you've tuned in to any of my other videos, you know we love architects on this channel. In this case, we have a website designed by legendary architect Frank Lloyd Wright. I've always wondered what would his take on website design look like in the modern day. I guess now we have some idea. I love this collection of website designs in the style of legendary futurist concept artist Sid Mead. I love that yellow text at the top of this one. It's very much like his style. I like the inclusion of very concept art like images integrated into this website, uh, as well as just the general layout and stuff. It's more unconventional, a lot like, a, like his work. If you don't remember, GeoCities was this website builder back in the day, I'm talking late 90s, early 2000s. I wondered what would a social network for dogs look like in the style of GeoCities? How about a credits payment API, something like Stripe, for example?
I had a lot of fun here making this video. I think there's some interesting things going on. However, I think Dolly 2 is a little bit further away from fully assisting in the web design process. One big reason is it just doesn't do well when it comes to generating fonts and letters. And I think I read a quote a long time ago. It was saying like 70% of web design is just about your fonts. Anyways, still cool nonetheless. If you're interested in the original high full resolution images which Dolly generated, which were used in this video, I'm going to be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed for more upcoming videos on Dolly 2.